Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we have uh, very much begun our invasion of the British Isles and Cornelius Percy is about to be annihilated by Añejo Bruno. And he has one 12 pounder full artillery. We got a couple of batteries plus howitzers. We should be grand. They got lots of infantry, so we're going to really need to use that artillery advantage. Uh, but this is the last force in north of Britain, which can actually withstand us. Uh, the other armies, the other fragmented armies that are scattered around uh, have already been defeated. I think we're at a point now where we can probably move some of the armies from Western Europe onto the British mainland and threaten London, because that would make our conquest of the Americas that much simpler. This is ideal, because usually... Well, in the past, some of our, um, some of the, uh, <laughs> battlefields we've been fighting these British armies on, um, before have been less than ideal. So we are going to put our guns in the line because the enemy is, the enemy infantry is here in considerable numbers and it is quite good. Okay. So three guns, a battery... Three guns. A battery, although I probably want to. More like this. Three units. Do this local bit of high ground. Elites are going to fortify where required. Skirmishers are going to be up here. They're going to drop some stakes. Oh, it says sad at the back, churning out quicklime. Group my lighter cavalry together. Group, put my heavy cavalry up on the high ground. Holy moly. Okay. How it's in quicklime. <laughs> the limit to who they can actually shoot at. Enemy cavalry is already being committed on the left. Let's get my elites over here. Light horse, horse grenadier guards. Form square. Refrain from falling square. Give them a volley. Because they're going after you. Okay, if they decrew our artillery. They have not. Okay, now they have. They haven't. Mr. Bruno, commit. is going to get charged, which is a problem in of itself. Blaster. Blast that Swiss line. Yes, yeah, Swiss pikemen. blast that Swiss pike unit. Get this infantry over here because they've got it just because they've got the horse the heavy horse grenadier guards in here. That makes it dangerous for my cavalry. Let's bring my 
Marines over. They love a scrap. Okay, now they're going down. It's starting to go down. Engage the Swiss Pikes. The gunners have <laughs> the gunners have run off. There we go. There goes the Swiss Pikes. Shattered. Push forward. Maintain the aggression on the right flank. How's that going? It's just enemy hussars. You can get out of the fight and start engaging. Bayonet charge the fight. I think the grenadiers are going to come in as well. You men just hold ground behind the line. Gunners have come back. Man your guns! Guards on the flank, Hussars push forward. And here have coll collapsed. Infantry form up, heavy cavalry without and around. Push towards the enemy general. Kill Mr. Percy. His army is scattered. Alex oh, has engaged the regiment of foot. Oh, I think. Okay, attack ground here because this is are stuck. You need to barrel into this block. To fight the general. You may attack the Swiss line. The line infantry is still standing. Push the line forward, or push my line forward. See if the general's in this mix somewhere. Doesn't appear to look like it. Artillery, we're going to continue, just to be, otherwise, just because the British troops are going to be scampering around Scotland for a while. You should be able to get these last four Swiss line. Nice. Okay, try to go after those shotgunners. Excellent. God yeah, some of these some of these uh, units are really spread out. mercenaries are somewhat together. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Kill this line infantry. 80th. Is the 80th no more? I should help every actually let's try to group a bunch of my pikes together. A bunch of my cavalry together to kill the pikes rather. 
Kill that Swiss. Kill that unit of line infantry. Okay, the gun team is going to be killed. They very nicely limbered up for us. Decisive victory. Take that, Mr. Percy. You're doomed. Good kills. That force is just in real bad shape. Okay, Mr. Bruno, you reinforce. Mr. Bombieri, attack this army fragment. Really badly depleted. Balthazare, replenish. Ultimately, that's just a. Uh, yeah. Just take it out. Okay, let's reinforce. Or replenish it, repair the buildings, reinforce the army. Did lose a couple of units there, but that's good because we could probably do with some more artillery in general. So we have this army in Ireland, ready to, ready to cover if these guys want to try press, press westward. You leave Amsterdam. Minus one. You should be fine. Great. So we can't attack in one turn, but we can land in Norfolk. So you're going to land, and then we're probably going to try and take this army. You've got to replenish, but you're... You're pretty good across the board. But you embarked. Just because in Rupert's land, where we've landed, there is an enormous, enormous pocket of British troops. So we could really do with trying to capture London, destroy Britain, and cause those troops to vanish. That's the most useful thing we can do. So the Inuit are probably, yeah, protector of Dagestan. So your best option is to probably let's attack Cuba. Because you don't want to go for. There's probably like a British colonial army in Nassau, so you may as well just go for the pirate territory and then start to bounce around. I mean, yeah, like that. There's already even just near the port. There's a. Some colonial armies. But this fleet's probably done. But Cuba's going to be annihilated. Good, 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 good. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a bunch of British troops here. And if we can just take them out, we can attack Rupert's land. As is. Are the Huron? The Huron are not protectorates of Dagestan. They're allied with the Mughals and the Iroquois. So... It is all. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, so I think this is of a strategic importance. When we do this, we're going to be sending... We're going to be um, shipping lots of... Uh, navies over to India because we're going to want to try and you know secure and maintain a heavy hold on the uh, it's in what am I saying sorry I completely trailed off um, we're going to want to try and make sure we maintain naval superiority over the coast of the Mughal Empire just to bottle them up to prevent them from coming out and attacking us so now this is where we are going to start our naval build-up in earnest some of you guys like this this is just a lower tier fleet Admiral's flagship okay let's do the same here something like that 188,000 a turn, and we're still able to completely empty our coffers. Okay, 
probably ship the line infantry off to the front. So lots of our troops. Ultimately, when we yeah, it's part of when we order sixty six the um, our current friends are not our permanent friends. You probably going to go to America, or you might go to India to secure Ceylon. Yeah, when we when when this kicks off, we're going to want to try and just bottle up their coastline with our navies. But let's hit enter. And of course, when the time comes, we're going to have to also push through the Middle East, attack Persia. Are you going to invade anywhere? So you've invaded the west of Ireland. You're going to, you're going to come and attack my light galley. You can have it if you want, Britain. All of your fleets will be disbanded soon. This is a mighty blunder for you. All of these ships will disappear. What are you trying to work out? Ooh, you're going to attack Edinburgh with a bunch of Irish volunteer infantry. Fun. Let's defend. If they had a more dangerous army, we could have been in trouble. Irish volunteer infantry uh, in, in Empire is quite... They are they're irregulars. They're not great. And they're all depleted anyway, so they're going to be very vulnerable to musket fire from the walls and cannon fire from the walls. I might keep some cavalry outside of the walls to make sure we can um, shatter units as we as we go. And they, the enemy doesn't have a lot of cavalry to do anything about them either, so we should be okay. So we don't have any breaches to worry about. Okay, four up. Okay. Get our troops up on the walls. Just set up, and you're going to fire a quick climb. Same with the howitzers. Got artillery, just hold. Cavalry hold, infantry form up. And these guys are going to be my fire engine team. Pikemen defend the gate. knock holes in some of these units. You could actually try to take out their general. Let's probably run fire brigade unit up here. Let's get some of our cavalry out on the flank as well. Some of these men are going to scale this section of the wall here. Okay, let's deploy one fire 
brigade unit onto the wall here. Keep hammering one unit at a time until they retreat, until they route, then we'll change targets. guns which is unfortunate but just open fire Yeah, smash the unit of militia, regiment of force, and smash the Irish volunteers. Steady, shaken. Shattered. Cool. Okay, you men can cease that, what you're doing there. Just because that will just cause upset. Chase down the broken armies. Charge them. Excellent. Those guys, they're going to scale up here. They might actually catch the game. Looks like the bulk of these chaps are going to just pour troops in here. Okay, engage the enemy general with quickline. The marines are holding off some of these volunteers. Get these grenadiers over here to bolster the gate. Shattered, good, trot forward. Enemy general lives. Here we go, they've secured the gate. Not they can do much with it because they have committed to uh, attacking the this bastion. Okay, right there. Charge across the door, across the um, the barrier. Okay, we've recaptured the gate. Push forward, Regiment of Horse. Attack the 31st. Some of them are on the wall. They don't like it already. 
They don't want to fight us. They know we have liberated their homeland. So one infantry unit work on one unit, the other infantry unit work on the other unit. They're very much going into the meat grinder here. Please fly with the mortars, we don't know what on earth it's doing. Enemy line infantry up here, plus a bunch of volunteers. They attack the general's bodyguard. How about you? Kill this general that foolishly threw away his men's lives. Got him. Ceasefire. Nice. Very nice indeed. Back you go, you devils. Look what you did. Coming after us now, Bran. You can be my guest. Because you're in trouble. We're going to run. We're going to run. Withdraw. Withdraw into the hills. We, it is not in our interest to fight that engagement. Not at all. Instead, we're going to... Ooh, what are you doing? You gonna order sixty six us first? I would be impressed if you do. They must know something's up. They know what's coming. <laughs> they can smell the treachery. Okay. So this army... Can you leave Spain? You can. March to the Savoy border. This army. Is ripe to be moved to the. Oh, that's not what I want. You to be the admiral. You're, you are ripe to be moved towards the Americas. First of all, fleet destroyed, port blockaded. Let's make sure we're doing our raids like good, good little boys. Hey, the farm which you foolishly destroyed yourselves. Good, good, good. Finland, keep on growing. Just keep building up that tax base. Okay. Awesome. Gibraltar, get better roads. We've got a lot of conversion to do in France. The United Provinces did a good job at converting them all to Protestantism, and now we have to convert them all back. Get this army aboard. Good for 
Santo Domingo. Because we've got a lot of... A lot of islands to take. Well, by the looks of it, we can just... Well, no, the pirates will probably never surrender. First of all, we want to set both of these up. And then in Europe, this is the big one. Yeah, bog standard garrison and no troops to reinforce. Let's do this thing. Let's capture London, destroy the British. And then we are gonna be cooking. Probably wanna go take Rupert's land I would like I would like to go for the Huron so one army is probably going to go up towards towards the northwest I think that would be I think that would work we still need more more armies to just to steamroll our way through uh, Europe okay steamroll through America sorry you guys set up howitzers, fire, and rockets. I love rockets. You like me, rockets. Blast joy in your uh, center. I mean, you guys. Shoot it whatever you like with quick line really. Just hacking it, just dropping it on the walls. Rockets. Fire. We're probably gonna go for the center. Yeah, you are. Knocking on the enemy artillery and cavalry. Good kills. I love rockets so much. Close to range. So they do still, they do have a mortar unit. I'm not ever so worried about it. I'm not going to let the rockets continuously shoot in the centre. They're aware this is where we're going to breach, so they're attempting to fortify it, or reinforce it rather. Good. Rockets away, quick climb away. Because really you should be aiming at that garrison militia unit. Gets more dead cavalry. Oh yeah, there's another, there's another mortar unit in here. Hello. Yeah, it makes sense. Try and aim it. Aim for this unit just to try and quick climb it and just knock a giant hole in these troops. Come on. You're all the stands between us and London. I mean, which one's London? I suppose this is all London. This is just the outskirts of London. The cavalry is soaking up all of the hits. Oh, quick climb should be coming in. There we go. One in every two men. Yeah, let's just let this let this keep ticking on, because otherwise it's going to take all the rockets away. Mm -hmm. 
It's so useful. Their range is really good. Oh man, that's probably... <laughs> probably woke them up. Rockets away again. Still only killed the one mortar crewman. Rocket's doing a good job though. 97, 99, 100. Troops advance. Artillery just drop shells into the into the breach. See if you can see if I can get you to bump some shrapnel shots into those right into the breach. Kill the enemy general with a rocket. Excellent. I think I might have to make these guys engage section of the wall there. Okay, let's set up outside of the breach. Let's start to lash it with musket fire. Right here, guards. A few guards to kill the wall. These three units advance up here. These units try and push past the wall onto the right flank. There we go, yeah, the mortars are just doing a lot of damage. Ability to kill 30 ish. The ability to kill 30 ish infantry in like a single volley is just really good. No. Look, they give them orders to scale this wall and they decide the breach is faster, we're going to run through there. Go the wall from all different directions. Garrison guard, we've got two units of elite troops up here, should be able to do some good stuff. I think the only thing to do. Yeah, man. 
Let's hit his enemy. That as well. There we go, it's the chug time. That's where you managed to hold the fire well off. If you can capture the gate, we're gonna run my cavalry and deal with their mortars and so on. Combatants even? I don't think so. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Attack the mortars. In reality, you probably yeah, that that's what you want to happen. Yes, exactly how you want to do it as well. Proper danger close quick line. They've pushed out of the breach too far. General's bodyguards trying to save the breach, save the gatehouse, but it's not going to work. Cavalry is trying to screw with our attack here, but it will not. Just keep scaling the wall. Engage the enemy militia. Secure the gate. Secure the gate, push the cavalry in. And the infantry. But these guys aren't doing anything either. Okay, the gate is ours. Please fire the rockets. Cavalry run. Elite troops have packed their way in. They're pushing another infantry unit in to support. Well, that means they're going to leave these armed citizenry units isolated and alone. Garrison militia are upset. Gates are so weird in this game. May as well make my rockets fire one last volley in that case, otherwise, it's a bit of a waste. Yep, yeah, the chug is real. Look, they just get through for God's sake. They keep running around and doing all these weird formations and stuff. It takes them so long to work out of the gate they want to get in. They want to come through is is uh, ridiculous. Rockets away. Might try to pull one of these units out of the out of out of here, just so if we can break the chuck. See, they've got orders to walk away, but it takes them a bit of time to work it out. Let's see if I can. it's so stuttery it's really tricky to actually like position things and they, uh, they're just now coming through it's just there's so much melee combat going on it's usually why I tend to try and not do it especially here this is where it will really be 
miserable. If I can make my line infantry guards run away, my line infantry form up. Not like that, like this. Deal with the 76th. But yeah, this is generally why I try and not salt everywhere at once, because it just looks ugly as sin. If I pull my line infantry guards back, does that help? Or is it just like up here? Which you can't do anything about. try and move where we've got like a known superiority like here let's try and move guys away from the combat there we go some of our units like you yeah you see they didn't make it all the way away from the action the new guys are at well shoot into the uh, bridge gonna quick climb fire on the way soon back line the end should be near quick claims just come in yeah we go just blown a huge hole shattered 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 confident you're chasing down my line infantry guards excellent so the new men run in See these guys like filing down the down the steps. They're, they're fighting these um, cavalry units. Everyone get in. Infantry atop the walls are engaging. Yeah, so you can't actually give these guys a fire command. They'll just walk towards it. You, all you can do is just make them fire at will. These grenadiers and the guards have really made the Brits pay to defend this bastion. Oops. Got a bunch of my own line infantry guards there. These units are just gonna form a Oh there we go, I was about to say form a cluster around the bridge, around the home central area. Nice. London has fallen. Excellent. So then that should be Britain destroyed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Although we don't get a... Oh, we don't get a thingy. His... We don't get a uh, notification. Very well. A naval hospital. Okay, let's get rid of the dry dock then. Upgrade you. Commercial basin. You go. You occupy there. Awesome. Okay, so you're a Catholic. You're you're a Protestant country. So let's get rid of the universities. We might have to deal with a little bit of rebellion, but I imagine getting rid of the university will deal with a huge amount of it. Because you think they are minus 18, the clamor for reform is 16, so immediately come down to minus 2, which will become minus 1, which will probably go positive as we rebuild a bunch of the civil, civil buildings. That's pretty nice. We've got Portsmouth here as well. Let's start knocking out some... Third-rate ships of the line. 
workers on strike in Spain. No, they are not anymore. Okay, let's build a an industry building, repair the Weaver's Cottage, build a coaching inn, upgrade Porto, build a guard ship. Roads are being upgraded. But let's upgrade the recruitment infrastructure in Lisbon, because Lisbon's quite a good territory to recruit large armies from. Uh, let's combine some of this infantry here. Are your line the colonial line? I see. Right. Ultimately, I want to get rid of the African native infantry because it's just not that great. Oh, now we've got access to some some more veteran units. Okay, cool. Let's get some howitzers as well. One second. Sorry about that. Right, so you're gearing up. You're going to get into Cadiz. Let's repair you. Okay. We had Salamanca, let's get a... Well, you've got all the government buildings, you've got a pleasure garden. Probably don't need... You can probably afford from Salamanca to be a craft workshop. Good, okay, everybody else, everybody just repair, repair, replenish. Everybody get fighting again. Okay, so you need probably one artillery, one howitzer unit. Okay, probably get rid of the native African units because they are they have served their purpose. And let's combine some of these units together. Just because we do have the ability now to recruit some good units we didn't previously have. Okay, so you guys need one artillery unit, a howitzer unit. You can start to recruit some more interesting infantry. One, two, three, four. So you need you can recruit six units. We did see sharpshooters. Let's get some sharpshooters. Excellent. You're just going to replenish and be ready to move. Build another sloop out of Waterford. Okay. So now Britain doesn't exist. 13 colonies are still the 13 colonies. Excellent. You men come down to the Moose Factory. So the Huron, I'm going to double check the Huron aren't at war with anybody, or aren't allied with anybody. Well, you're acquiring the Mughals. It's kind of, that's kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem, not a huge problem, but it is a problem nonetheless. Uh, of the two, that one's probably going to be the more fun one, because it's the one that's open. But let's attack Santo Domingo. We want to bring that into fold. This army is probably going to work itself clockwise around the Caribbean. The army in Cuba is going to go for the Bahamas, then probably go for Florida. We likely want one of the armies in the north to go for Quebec to start recruiting some uh, additional armies in the country because it's a small army we don't have to worry about being too clever with tactics regardless of the gun they are all going to be lined up infantry get ready the regular and pike flank we'll be fine Give 
quickly swarm. All my artillery is going to smash their unit of mortars. Destroyed two guns already. Probably still going to go for the pikes. That's usually what the AI does. Yep, there they are. Swarm, swarm, attack the pattern alpha. Put artillery in a blast and trap the shot. Kill, kill the enemy general. There's one more to left. Kill the general, they might break. Hey, pirate mob. How brave of you. It's the musketry just ripples down the line. It vanishes in an absolute cloud of smoke. Infantry guards, charge the buccaneers! They've killed five of us with pistol shot. They are confident, but they're concerned the general is dead. Go get him, guardsmen. These scallywags might might be able to outrun you, but they're not going to outrun the cavalry. Okay, we caught the odd one. Now they're winded. Sorry, my horsemen are winded too, but horses are faster than people. Into them, mow them down. Anybody that serves under a pirate flag will die. <laughs> yep. That's the end of one of their pirate havens. Okay, so what do we want? Punish you. Punish you. Let's occupy Port of Pegs. It's a strong one. Recruit some sloops to act ready to act as garrison ships. Demolish the College of Divinity. What about the roads? We've got good roads. Cool. Okay. Then, you're going to attack Cuba, but. Uh, be like that might just be an auto resolve. Do you be Italia! honest? <laughs> just get rid of them. Excellent. Okay, get my cavalry. I don't really need a steam dry dock and a naval hospital so close to each other. But out of the steam dry dock, let's recruit a sloop and. Well, two sloops to start to try to occupy some of these ports, but they will be adding extra goods to our trade empire. Quebec is hostile, which is which is very reasonable. Yeah, one of these armies is probably going to go for Quebec, unless it is one of the yeah protector. Yeah, I need to go for Dagestan. So that's going to blow this whole front wide open. Okay, so maybe that's the thing to make sure we get ready to do then. Because you can attack Dagestan in one turn, that'll be okay. We're going to have, well, make sure we keep recruiting the troops we need to attack Tripoli in one go and Turin in one go. Puebla 
Herbal Nation we don't care about. The Inuit we don't care about. The Italian states, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be a couple of engagements to wipe them out, especially when they've got so much artillery. Oh, good oh, job. I, good job, I saw you. Okay, you're going to work on Caribbean from the south. You know what? We will fight that, but it'll be in the next episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Cayenne. Cheers everyone.